What I want to do in this uh, final, if you will, wrap up video tutorial on creating your business card is just to show you how you can maybe do a few final tweaks to uh, make the business card look the way that you want. One thing I want to mention is that if you want to, you can always go over here and change the font. Right now we have uh, the name of the file is, uh, looks like Book Antiqua is the name of the font that's being utilized. If I want to, I can just go in here and select the font. I can go down here and I can pick another font that I would want uh, to maybe, uh, that I would think would look a little bit more interesting. Uh, I'll pick something like Arial Black so you can see that. Actually, I think that that's a little bit too heavy for me personally. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the back button and I think I'm going to just stay with that font. Uh, you can go down here and of course if you need to you can move your boxes around. Once you select on it you have a box. You can move this, uh, if you will, right here. Just make sure you're picking on the actual box itself and you can move it up or down, whatever you want to position it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button for that. So in other words, you can go in here, change the font, make it look the way that you want it. Uh, one of the final things that I wanted to do is just to show you in the photograph. You know, the photograph right here doesn't look like it really has a frame around it. It kind of, you know, it's very hard to distinguish where the picture ends and the white starts to begin. So in order to format that picture and put sort of like a little border around it, all I have to do is click on it, right click, and then say format picture. And what I'm going to do is check, click here on the tab called colors and lines. And I'm going to go right down here for the line. This would be the fill color. This is the line color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and pick a color. I'll pick black. And right here it gives me a sort of like a thumbnail sketch of what this would basically look like. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to make this line, I'll just show you that I can make the line bigger, very very thick if I want to, or I can go back down. I probably feel that maybe somewhere about 1 or even 0.75 would probably be good. I'm really not looking at making any real big distinguishing thing. I just want to identify where the, if you will, the, the picture ends and the rest of the the uh, card starts, so if I go ahead in here and click OK, you'll see now I have a little line around here which makes it a little bit easier. And uh, so this kind of gives you an idea of what you could do to uh, improve or final, finalize your business card. And I do want to emphasize to you that all of the tools that we have been utilizing are the same tools that you utilize when you're doing a, a real estate flyer a real estate brochure, whatever. I chose a business card because I thought why well, it would be the easiest thing for everybody to kind of get their head around or their mind around to see how easy this is. And then the only thing that goes on from here is just, if you will, making it sort of a little bit more complex, adding some additional photographs, for example, on a flyer, changing some fonts, uh, just doing a lot of different things. So kind of want to show you how that looks and um, again I would encourage you to experiment and find different ways to make your business card the way you want to make it look.